not over your shoulder, not like this. I know that's what all the cool kids are doing these days. They're rocking their fanny pack on their chest, so it's like a chest fanny, but then a fanny in uh, Australia is actually not even a bud. It's like the front part on a lady, and you've actually got like a chest fanny, which would be like the lower part up higher, and that's just a strange situation. Welcome to the Willie Bill Outdoor Show. It's good, isn't it? Oh. Hey y'all, this is Willie Bill. I got a review for you today, and it is of this odd looking fanny pack. Uh, this fanny pack is made by a dirty, looks like MTI. MTI. This is not just any fanny pack. This fanny pack here is considered a PFD. We're gonna follow on the theme of paddle boarding today. Uh, last week we did a review of a piece of a high society paddle board. Today we're gonna do a review of the whole PFD from MTI. This one here, listed top three PFD, US Coast Guard approved. So this is a legal personal flotation device. I don't think I've ever opened that pocket that apparently has like a, wow, chums. I got like an eyeglass uh, holder thing. That's cool. Bonus, y'all. Um, I didn't know that was in there. Uh, this PFD is an adult universal PFD. Uh, personal flotation device. Now you might wonder, does this thing just float on its own? When you fall in the water, does it just keep you afloat? It's false. It will not keep you afloat. Uh, what you would have to do is actually tug this handle. And what's going to happen, it's going to be like when you're on an airplane. Uh, you ever see the demonstration uh, when they're getting ready to take off? And you know, at the last minute, when it's way too late to change your mind and get back off the plane because you realize that you're unprepared for the potential situation where the plane crashes into the ocean and you need to follow the set of instructions that was recently explained to you as the plane was taxiing down the runway that there's all these steps you have to take to inflate their PFDs that are underneath the seat wrap it around put a belt around you and if it doesn't work there's a straw that you can inflate you know, while the plane is sinking, it's a lot of responsibility. And I think some people might change their mind when they realize how difficult that is. But, of course, you do not have the opportunity at the point at which they explain to you your responsibility. Now, get off my soapbox. Way less consequence of this one. Uh, this PFD you purchase on your own and you have at your house and if you really want to play with it you could um, and then you take it on your paddle board or your kayak or I don't know rowboat something like that and you wear it around your waist like a waist belt click not over your shoulder not like this I know that's what all the cool kids are doing these days they're rocking their fanny pack on their chest so it's like a chest fanny but then a fanny in uh, Australia is actually not even a bud it's like the front part on a lady and you've actually got like a chest fanny which would be like the lower part up higher and that's just a strange situation so let's try to avoid having a fanny pack on her chest and a chest fanny because that just gets really weird After you've had this at home, read your instructions, and potentially practiced with it, you can take this out with much comfort. In order to save your butt, if you fall in the water and you can't swim, you pull the handle, and then what's supposed to happen is this like thing is going to come out of here and inflate out. I really don't want to unfold this because I don't know that I could put it back correctly. But it does look like it's a PFD like you would have on an airplane where it goes around your neck 
and then you have to do all that other stuff. So you fall in the water, you pull a thing, hop, there's a life jacket, hook it over your head and snap it and then you can like chill and get like sunbathe on your face and palms, uh, you know, while you're waving for help. Hey y'all, I'm sinking. That's the way this PFD works, if you were to use it correctly. Now I'm going to share a little special thing where I'm at. The reason I have this is because it's obligatory when you go out and paddleboard on the lakes out here. You have to have PFD. You don't have to have it on, which is a strange rule, but uh, comfortable. So you take this, you stick it on a paddleboard underneath like a bungee cord or something, and then you go on your merry way and you do your thing. Now I'm a reasonable swimmer. I'm also on a paddleboard which floats and it's, it's soft. It's not like you're gonna fall and knock yourself out. You're gonna fall and go, oh man, I need to grab onto that floaty thing. It supported me when I was standing on it. I bet it could handle me when I'm in the water just gripping it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be effective and likely you're not even going to need this thing. But in order to be legal, official, you got to have it with you. So I have a couple of these. We bring them with and it's no problem. Uh, so in my use case, which is pretty much just moving this from the home to a lake, putting on a paddleboard, putting it back in the truck, back in a home, never having pulled a handle and rarely actually wearing it it's been excellent and i would highly recommend it if you're going to use it frequently it looks like you can replace the air cylinder so i think that's probably a good feature it's got some notes on here you want to weigh more than 80 pounds if you're going to use it there's a chest size requirement which i think is strange because you don't wear it on your chest But it is official top three PFD. So if that's what you need, I feel like this has been working out just fine. We'll see if I ever actually have to inflate it. If I do, give you guys an update. All right. Make sure you smack that like, subscribe. We're going to see you in a week. We do this every Thursday. And tell your friends. I don't know. It'd be cool you bring some more folks over to the channel. We'll be here. Take care, y'all.